was uh, I was living in Bethnal Green and around that area is where they come from and on one particular day I, I got asked um, what made an offer I couldn't refuse um, just to uh, ask to sing at uh, Reggie Cray's uh, funeral wake so uh, oh, and then from there I, um, I, I then sang at uh, a few other um, parties for uh, for certain gangsters, shall I say, um, from th from that sort of uh, neck of the woods. Fortunately, uh, you know, the sort of stuff I sing is was right up their street. Really, they like that sort of thing. Um, so therefore, um, it w it was fine. You know, uh, they enjoyed it, and I got paid and survived. <laughs> Put the light meter, spot meter and everything else, so you're sort of going off what you think will work and hopefully it'll work. It's, you know, it's, it's a good good film stock because we were supposed to shoot, we shot on a 200 ASA, so it's a gamble, but the blacks are better than the 500 ASA. So it's, it helps, I suppose. So I suppose you're waiting to find out what, I, what I'm doing here, yep. other than unloading this film. I'm actually um, directing this video, or music video, for Gary Driscoll because the main person is, 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 is from the 2nd Battalion of the Royal Green Jackets, and uh, I, I happen to be a, also a member of the same regiment, but in a different battalion, it was the 3rd Battalion, and uh, when I heard his voice, I thought, wow, we've got to shoot this guy. We did it on film for one purpose, because of the Cray twins. Eastman Kodak came on board and helped us. The lab and Cine, Cine Lab in London, who was a, pretty much uh, a lot of the old guys from Technicolor and Deluxe, came on board and built a new lab um, for us people that love film to carry on enjoying the, uh, the art form which is such a shame that everyone just gave it away and went and shot digital instead of what you're doing. <laughs> so, but anyway, it has its purpose and so does film. The sun. Governor shouts for time as the crooners singing my way. This bleeding heart of mine flows like claret on a tray. Different times and different people guess they weren't always right. But let's raise a glass to the old East End. Tonight. Slugger shot 
ever blind a beggar Now ain't you trust to kill If that Jaguar's old lover Could speak of every ill Had those twins stayed at the Repton After learning how to fight They'd be drinking in the old East Ham So you got the whole song to turn one complete but when you get to the word fight come back to the lens I want it into the lens you play with it you don't have to go we don't want to see too much of the back of the head 1966 from the moment he pulled the trigger play back are you ready believe that it's over but sort of semi relieved that you don't know how it's going to look like till Wednesday That was the DOP, a cinematographer on this film. It was uh, nerve wrackingly fun. <laughs> After some lengthy holidays, they let them home to rest. The crowds poured out along the streets as the horses pulled their guests. And we sat down in Polici's where we popped that blood red wine and then raise the glass to the old east end that night Very successful in the can, way, way before time, time wrap. And uh, we had a few technical issues with one little cable out of all this whole shoot. Um, but yeah, very successful shoot. Made amazing time. All these people turned up to, just to be in it. Um, to supporting, most of them were green jackets um, that he actually invited to come along. Crime still doesn't 